in double overtime over the Golden Eagles. And we are joined by head coach Ed Cooley now from the locker room. Ed, how would you describe the game that you just coached in? Uh, an emotional game, um, great game, uh, very proud of our men. I thought it was two teams that felt like a, and honestly felt like an eight, nine game in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, it was, you know, push and go the whole way. I just was really proud of the group as I'm seeing a team grow right before our eyes where we're way better than we were a couple of weeks ago. And I thought we're starting to build an identity where we're trying to go. Bryce Hopkins, he, he wasn't an animal. He was a manimal. Like 29 and 23, eight offensive boards. He, he was nonstop tonight. Uh, speak on his uh, maturation through the early part of this season heading into conference play. Well, so, you know, when you look at Bryce's development over the period of time, so his senior year, this COVID year, I think he plays 12 games, high school games, goes to a school, doesn't play in a role of which, you know, you know, he had consistent minutes, you know, mm -hmm. he was a limited minute guy. So he's still growing and developing. And we've been talking about this the whole time. We see it in practice a lot. I think he had a couple of very, very unselfish plays that he could have taken. One was a kick out three to uh, breed uh, in the second half. Honestly, he had a slip and it was a layup for him, yet he was unselfish. He continues to get better, and he's playing both ends of the floor, which I'm really proud of him on. Ed, I don't want to ruin uh, the upcoming Christmas holiday, but I just want to let you know I did get you a Christmas gift. It's going to be one of these. It's going to be coming in the mail. My, and you know what? You can call me the luckiest guy in the world. I love it. I love the shamrock. I love the fact that you got fryers on. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. So the 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 dunk, or the I guess it's called the amp now. I'm always going to be calling it the dunk. That, that no, place is really what? become... No, we, 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 we got to give our naming rights people all the love and we're Amica Mutual Pavilion, right? <laughs> the amp. We got to give them their love. I mean, it was called the old name, but right now, Amica Mutual Pavilion, baby. It worked well, out what tonight. It, what it, whatever it is, it's a fortress now. So what is it like um, playing in front of that kind of atmosphere and that kind of... It's the place where people are intimidated to go to to play, to officiate, to, to you know, sit on the sideline and be a media member like Jeff Goodman. So it's a tough place. It's been a place over the years that we've been here. This is my 12th season here. And every single year, I say it gets edgier and edgier. And last year was a pinnacle as far as, you know, attendance. We, you know, we're over 11,000 season ticket holders now. It's just a credit to our AD, his his team, and the student body, and then all the supporters that come out. Man, the people here love the Friars. And I hope we can continue to play well for them and improve. Well, it's a credit to you too, coach. I think that's that's a huge part of it, very obviously. But I had the privilege to call your game earlier this season against Stonehill. And before the game, you talked about, you know, this team is still developing, but we've got pieces. I mean, how mm -hmm. nice is it to see as a coach, they're starting to form together. I mean, guys are embracing the roles and, and continue to, uh, you know, develop within those roles. And then you're doing a nice job molding these guys together. I mean, you have to be proud of what's happening as far as that's concerned. I'm very proud. You know, I give our staff a lot of credit. You know, we sit down, as you know, as a coach, you talk about your player personnel all the time. What can they, okay, let's put the players in their strengths. Everybody worries about what a player can't do. I'm somebody who values strengths of individuals. And as players, put them in their strength. So many people worry about, well, I got to work on this. Well, you don't get paid for doing what you don't do well. You get paid for what you do do well. And that's what we try to concentrate as a staff. So, you know, all the credit goes to the players and the staff. Ed, I can't help but look at your program and heard you in an interview this past week say, with our program, I want everybody that's touching it, whether it be a support staff member, a fan, anyone who's involved in Providence College basketball, you want them to feel like they're important. That's how you are. That's who you are. With the Christmas season upon us, the, the holidays in, in full swing, just how much do you try to relay that to your players to take nothing for granted and, and that it does go beyond basketball when you're at Providence College? It's funny, you know, you know, just before we would just before we addressed the team after the game, I told them, hey guys, take for a minute and appreciate the moment. Appreciate the holiday season. Appreciate that young men and women are not going to have Santa Claus that arrive to their house. Appreciate the fact that we're going to take care of our bodies because so many young men and women right now during the holidays, there are drinking and driving accidents. There are things that happen to your body when you're not taking care of it. I love people and I love people that care about other people. Do the right thing and you can never go wrong. And I know it sounds like corny, 
but I just appreciate every moment and every opportunity that I have on this earth to make other people feel loved, wanted, supported by what we do here at Providence College and our men's basketball program. Ed Cooley, one of the absolute best. The Friars are 10 and three, a 103, 98 win over Marquette. And Ed, you know this better than anybody. That's a 2-0 and start in the Big East. And I know you'll take that eight days a week with how this league can be. Oh, my goodness. The eggnog's going to be good. <laughs> Jingle Bells is going to be on blast. I'm going to sing, um, dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> I, you know, I love the holiday seasons because it's about giving. And I'm looking forward to spending the next couple of days with my family and those that I love. Merry Christmas to all of you. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. And I appreciate everything that you guys do for college basketball. Thank you, Ed. Happy holidays, Ed. Appreciate Happy you. Holidays. Appreciate, appreciate you. you. Much love, family.